Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing great. And today we're going to talk about the top 10 slums in outrageous places around the world. Before we start the video, I want you guys to hit that like button and do subscribe to our channel as it helps us to grow. So, without any further ado, let's just get the video started. The United Nations defines slums as areas within a city lacking clean water, sanitation facilities, adequate living space, durable houses and or housing security. But while slums like Canadaril Galeana in Madrid or Rochina and Rio de Janeiro have a reputation for violence, addiction and poverty, slums can also be hives of industry and ambition. Here are some of the largest slums in the world and the challenges their residents face. Number 10. Orangi Town, Karachi, Pakistan Orangi Town's population varies from 1.5 to 2.4 million. It is located in the biggest and largest city of Pakistan, Karachi. This cluster of 113 settlements on the outskirts of Karachi on Pakistan's west coast sprawls across some 8,000 acres and is home to at least 1.5 million people, though many estimates peg the total closer to 2.4 million. Number 9. Kibera, Karwangweri and Mathuri, Nairobi, Kenya More than two-thirds of the residents in the Kenyan capital live in three slums crowded into just 6% of the city's land. Kibera, for instance, is a sprawling community of 15 villages that interconnect with each other of mud huts and tin shacks and it has a population of about 1.5 million slums. Number 8 Quadad, Neza Wu Coyote, Neza, Mexico City. While some contend that Sudad, Nezawahu Coyote, also known as Neza, has evolved from a slum into a suburb, the brick and mortar houses are scattered among impoverished shanties, and the neighborhood is considered extremely dangerous, even by drug war plagued Mexico standards. Number 7. Daravi, Mumbai. Romanticised in the Oscar-winning film Slumdog Millionaire, Daravi is a sprawling warren of narrow lanes, interconnected shacks and single-room living spaces that double as factories. Residents work as potters, leather tanners, weavers and soap makers amid the slum's open drains. Some estimates peg the teeming community's annual sales as high as $1 billion. Number 6. Tondo, Manila, Philippines Built on a dump site on the outskirts of Metro Manila, Tondo has a population density of 80,000 people per square kilometre. Dirty water and other hygiene issues mean that disease is rampant and sorting through the rubbish for items that can be sold or recycled is the only source of income for many residents who are lucky if they earn $2 a day. Number 5 Keilitsha, Cape Town, South Africa. The last census pegged the population of this sea of Ramishkala at 400,000 in 2011, but activists estimate the real number of residents could be three times that. It was set up in the 1980s as a ghetto for black workers who migrated to Cape Town in search of jobs during the apartheid era, though it grew rapidly after the oppressive system was abolished in 1994. Number 4. Site Soleil, Port-au-Prince, Haiti. In Site Soleil, criminal gangs outgun the police. Healthcare and education facilities are scarce and substandard, and until 2017, the district was effectively sequestered from the rest of the Haitian capital by the armed soldiers of Minister, the United Nations Stabilization Mission in Haiti, deployed to wrest the slum from the control of criminal gangs. Number 3. Manchia Nasa, Cairo. Dubbed also known as Garbage City, this slum at the base of Mukatam Hills in southeastern Cairo is home to Coptic Christians who work as Zabalin or garbage collectors who usually collects the garbage. As such, it's a hive of recycling and vital to the functioning of the Egyptian capital, yet most homes lack sewers, electricity or running water. 
Number two, Makuku, Lagos. Makuku is an area of six collective slum villages. Four of these villages are floating on water in the lagoon and two are situated on the land. Issues that face this community include malnutrition, childbirth and diseases like malaria. Number one, Kawangweri, Nairobi, Kenya. In at number one, Kawangweri is 15 kilometers west of the center of Nairobi. Poverty is a serious and main issue, with most of the people living there on less than one dollar each day. Most families can't afford more than one meal a day, so malnutrition is rampant. Disease, lack of clean water and lack of funds to afford education are also major problems. And that's it for today's video. I hoped you all liked it and I would love it if you guys hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Till next time, goodbye.